Happy Chinese New Year, everyone! 恭喜发财，新年快乐！ Welcome back to the vlog. Today is the day before Chinese New Year, which we call Chu Si. I'm wearing my new I Love Bunny CNY shirt that I made in JB, as you saw in my last vlog. So on Chu Si, we usually start the day by honoring our ancestors and going to the column bay room to pay respects to my grandpa. I didn't take any videos there out of respect for the place, but we did take this. It made us feel like kids again. Then we are back at my parents' home for the reunion dinner or Tuan Yuan Fun, which symbolizes the culmination of a year's toil and the hopeful anticipation of prosperity in the year to come. Also, now you know where I got my festival decorating streak from. My dad goes all out for CNY home decorating every year and these lanterns and decorations are his prized possessions. He's been planning this for weeks. I thought he did a fantastic job decorating the house, don't you think? In Chinese culture, the reunion dinner night is an important one as it needs the fabric of the family tighter. It's a time to honor ancestors, cherish the elderly, and foster love among the young. In this sacred space, stories are shared. Laughter resonates, and memories are etched into the heart of the family tapestry. It's more than a meal; it's a celebration of our roots, our bonds, and the enduring spirit of renewal. I'm very fortunate that most of my family are based here, so I get to see them all year round. But I do know there are many other families with relatives living overseas, and during this time, they will all be flying back home for the reunion dinner and CNY festivities. And you can often see these stories played out in those Chinese New Year commercials. This just shows how significant this occasion is to Chinese people. By the way, that was a very delicious piece of abalone. Yum! <laughs> so you have to refill the water after every round. This year, Bobby and I bought a KTV set. If you see my first CNY vlog, you might have noticed this KTV set in my home. My friend Melissa brought it over, and I enjoyed it so much that I got one for my parents too. No regrets. They all looked like they were really having fun with it. No one is singing though. What? Yes, 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 yes,
错嘞，全部都会唱歌嘞。吉祥如意，哇，中秋，这是什么东西来的？不像龙呢？啊，像那个猫猫还是老鼠还是什么？不是不爱你，我也不愿让你伤心。那么万粉丝来，哈哈哈哈哈！那你的 number one fan， 哇，这边也有，这边有 fan fan。啊，你要看偶像，偶像，偶像。偶像偶像<笑> OK <laughs>。Countdown, countdown, two minutes, two minutes, yeah, like two minutes. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Like, countdown, Ama, I quit now. Ama, Ama, quit now. Ah? 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 Ma, Ma,恭喜恭喜，哈哈，恭喜恭喜，阿妈。恭喜哇！恭喜恭喜，哈哈！恭喜发财哇！
Hey, where's the food? This restaurant, why is it so slow? Hello! Hello! <laughs> Welcome to our chong steam bowl where we steam the bowl. Unfortunately, I checked the menu and the only thing on the menu is snake eyeballs. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. Thank you. Go, Ooh, thank you so much. Wow. Into a jelly like substance. All right, the time now is 12:45 a.m. and we're about to have pot. Steamboat so officially is Tucson third day of Chinese New Year now Yay. and we just came back from my parents' house and I'm hungry and we're here at me and Sebastian's house. And they're busy preparing food. Coca Cola is here. Please okay, check. that's a good vintage. I'll mm -hmm. taste a bit. I need to give it a sampling. Make sure you let it breathe, my good man. Make sure you let it breathe. Ah! Yes. You can hear the nuance. That sound is typical of the vintage that we are sampling today. Oh, so that's my hey, apology. Hey. Okay. How is it? Is it good? Does it pass the taste test? Let's do that. Oh my god. Zero of the finest quality. This is spot. This is spot. Good one. Good ball. Thank you, that's enough. Thank you very much. So that's enough. <laughs> what? Waiting for the good feast to begin. I mean, Antarctica. So uh, we were saying that um, Antarctica has that the viruses and. Uh, uh, Batteries, 
Eh, I'm not waving. I'm not. I'm not waving. Oh, she's got stuff in her hands. Baby, help her. Eh. Hello. We came prepared. Well, we're just right outside the toilet. We should just go somewhere else. How did we come prepared? <laughs> we came prepared because for the first time, vlogging outdoors, we're wearing mics. I'm we mic'd up. Mics. Yeah, we're mic'd up. Uh, we're mic'd up on the low now. It's <laughs> part of our SAS Secret there's Service always, kit. Yeah, because there's always so much funny things hello, that we hello? say. Okay. <laughs> see, see, this is what I mean. What's going on over there? So much funny things. Yeah, I feel like it's all missed out because of the lack of uh, What is sound. happening? We're here at MBS today to see this Damn. guy. Look! Look at the dragon! Wow, it looks majestic. Really crazy. And there's not one, there's two. Yeah, I didn't know there was Wait, there's a third one over there. I think there's a small one or something. That's so cool. You want to go that way? You see it from the front? Check out the dragon. And I'm here in green today. I can't see you. In theme. <laughs> you see the outfit? You're outshun or whatever by the dragon. Because I saw this online actually. I saw that the dragon is green. So ah. I came prepared in my green pants with my I Love Bunny shirt that we designed in JB. The sakuras here that I can also use during sakura season in April. Kill two birds with one stone. I didn't think that was a flattering angle of the dragon, so we're gonna go somewhere else so that you guys get a better view of the majestic MBS dragon. Da -da -da -da. This is the front view of the I think dragon. This is one of the coolest things that I've seen here in Singapore. I know, right? Oh wow, look at the back. Besides the dragon, there's some really cool uh, pagoda-like frame at the back as well. The kind that you see at the entrance of temples usually. Generally, if you go anywhere, I think I personally feel that Asia is too cutesified. So if you see most CNY decorations, Chinese New Year decorations, all of the dragons look like kittens and stuff. It's weird, but this is a like pop kittens. Yeah, yeah they just right. look silly. But this is like a full-on majestic ferocious king dragon so it's really cool so it has the uh, king Ghidorah vibe to yeah, it has you know? that kind of vibe to and it. there are three of them there right yeah, yeah it could so very cool. well be in uh, Godzilla movie for people watching in Europe in London especially last time in the when I grew up when you go into the Natural History Museum they have a giant Diplodocus skeleton mm -hmm. it was really famous they used to show it in movies and stuff um, but it was like really iconic you go there you expect to see that giant dinosaur skeleton and this has that kind of vibe like i think i think they should keep this all year round it's so cool it'd be really like iconic because there's normally nothing here right but if this is always here like it's really cool yeah i'm not i'm not used to wearing a mic so i, I keep up a tendency i want to come close to the camera <laughs> so you can hear me but i don't need to do that so yeah it's just really cool look at it it's so cool it's huge It also reminds me of a movie. Um, did you ever watch The Never Ending Story? No? A really famous movie. It had this white dragon thing in it. It looked a bit like this. Okay, guys, this is going to be a really rare sight. We're not at the belly of the dragon. Oh, you can see his little cute the belly. The belly of the beast. The belly of the beast. Do you think a dragon is a uh, carnivore? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> This might be a herbivore, a vegetarian dragon, you think? 
possible? No. I think MBS really nailed it this time. I think it might even be more impressive than the Christmas ones. Don't you think? I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. I don't even think Chinatown's decorations can beat this. Right? Yeah. I think MBS is continuing to cement itself as the iconic, iconic landmark of uh, Singapore. Yeah. I mean, the hotel is already very iconic. Yeah. And of course, after this, I think there is a drone show. Like, there's a dragon drone show. Uh, which I've heard is not quite as impressive, but you know, we can see. I don't see. know, I just have a feeling that we improve it today because everyone has been uh, laughing at it, complaining about it. Aww. So I feel like they would have done something even better. And I've heard that they have done some kind of crowd control already, like improvements to the crowd control measures. So. Yeah, the crowd really control is that they won't let us in, that's all. <laughs> Alright guys, so you can see this close up. So it's not normal pillars. Yeah. It's really cool, it looks like crystals just yeah. hanging, so it gives the appearance of a a chandelier a or something, pillar, yeah. yeah. A chandelier and a pillar. And of course, on top of all these, they also have floating lotus flowers all over the mall. It's really beautiful. I'm so impressed. Nian, nian, yoni. Check out the fishies, the floating fishies. So we seem to have been unknowingly pushed into the drone show queue. Yeah, I don't mind. I would love to see it tonight. I don't know, it looks quite busy. It looks packed. I'm scared. Wow, look at it. That is really busy. You said there was crowd control? Yeah, it looks like there's some kind of crowd control. It doesn't look like it. It's packed. <laughs> we are outside the MBS. Already for the drone show. Let's keep a look out for the dragon in the sky. Where we should we go? We need to pick a spot. Pick a spot. I think we found a spot. Yep, we found a spot. I think we're in a pretty good spot. Yeah, I don't. Everyone here is going to stand up and they won't be able to see anything. It'll be gone case. Gone, I say. It looks like something is happening. Do you see anything? I see a lot of people. Yeah. Looks like everyone is standing up. Wait, wait, I see something. I see... No, it's people. Something's happening. It's the big migration. It's happening! Wow. There's something going on! Woo. What is that? <laughs> there you go. Hey. What is that? It's a phoenix. Oh, is it? I think it's a phoenix. Right? Phoenix is in what? The bird? Oh no, they are butterflies. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's quite cool. It's quite good. It's not like what the TikTok video show. It's quite good. Where's the dragon? I feel like my video is not doing it justice. It actually looks more impressive in real life. Oh no, it's blocked by this dome. The apple dome. Oh, it's a uh, Chinese character. It says prosperity, spring, spring and uh, fortune. Oh, wow. Money tree, I think. Looks like pineapple tarts are exploding. The Matrix. Yeah. It's 
pretty cool. Yeah. It looks really 3D. You know? In real life, it actually looks pretty 3D. Yeah, it's quite cool. So, how are your shoulders? Not good. This is why we train shoulders. <laughs> All those lateral raises you did. Yeah. Oh, is that the Dragon Ball? Oh! oh. Wow! Hey. Wow, this is crazy! Woohoo! Damn! He's chasing the Dragon Ball. The fireball. Towards us. It's so cool. Look at it. You need it's coming towards us. <laughs> it's looking at us. Yep. You can probably feel the dragon spirit within me, that's why. The kindred spirit. So time for a little debrief of the show. So what do you think? No, it's pretty cool. That's very good. I think the TikTok videos didn't do it justice. And I also noticed that because this drone performance is so much closer to us, that's why the dragon looks more, uh, not as impressive. And the lights look more dispersed. 
you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So when it's further, then you can see the full glory of the dragon. I think what they wanted was the audience to be closer to the dragons, which is great. I mean, the initiative is good. The intent is good. But I think the execution is not great. So I think maybe better if you film it from afar, then it really looks very magnificent, very majestic. And you know that part, right, where the dragon was like turning around and literally like staring into your soul? That was very majestic and intimidating at the same time. Do you think so? For me, I thought... Yeah, I thought the TikTok videos, people complained about it. Said it wasn't very good and stuff. But when you see it in real life, because it's something so big, and you're seeing it kind of moving on, it's all so coordinated. It, it looks really weird, like it's kind of surreal. It's quite cool. So I, I really liked it. Um, but yeah, I saw your videos and those ones where you zoom out and you kind of see it more as a whole, then it's a lot clearer to see the dragon's shape. And it looks really cool. So I think, yeah, being so close to it, it sometimes then becomes a little bit um, harder to kind of put the whole picture together so I think it looks more impressive from afar but when you're close I think you get more of the scale it's so yeah. big that makes it cool so even though at times so you're like okay which part of the dragon am I looking at but when you're seeing something so huge like in front of you like moving around and stuff like it really feels like a real dragon it's quite cool I liked it I liked it too it's cool. hope you guys enjoyed it too wow look the moss packed following the crowd unlike us I wish we were here to see the uh, light up ceremony. Mm. I heard it's really good. Next year then? Yeah, possibly better than the Christmas one, is it? I don't know about that. <laughs> it looked pretty impressive. Yeah, this is cool. I would love to have this in our girl cave. So cool! Oh my. I need this in the girl cave. I like it. Yeah. So here's a medical tidbit. Mm -hmm. Notice. There's no nose. So when people get a nasal injury, bang! Yeah. And they're like, oh, doc, I've, I've got, got my a nose, broken right? nose. I need an x-ray. Not really, because the part that you feel is cartilage. Mm. It doesn't show up on x-ray. Yeah. Like this. See? So you can't actually break your nose. I mean, you can break your nose. The cartilage can break, break off. The cartilage, but yeah. it's a clinical diagnosis. If it feels not in place, then it's probably broken. So you don't really need the x-ray to confirm whether it's broken or not. Yeah. We're back here on the second floor. Just wanted to look at this more clearly. I thought we could go up there. Yeah, take we need a look to get up that, that little one. Smaller dragon. How do we get there? And there it is. The regal dragon. Dragon numero two. Yeah. Dun, da, da, da. Ooh, look, See. it comes with some kind of fortune telling display. Yeah. We need this to find our zodiac. Booster. Roost. And oh, I see you, the monkey, and that's the dragon. So you're the monkey. So I'm born in 1980. Mm -hmm. So your lucky color this year is blue, black, red, and orange. You're in black. Hey. So that's they uh, they forgot my name for some reason. <laughs> Not sure what's going on there. And this year you're asked to consider how your choices and actions ultimately limit or expand your future. The workplace steer clear of gossip and place a trust in reliable friends. And that's us. Be yeah. proactive, seek out out of the box solutions and seize every opportunity to grow professionally, versatility and social networking of your keys to success. Yeah. I need to do more TikTok, that's what it means. Mm -hmm. so we're in search of the ox. While well, we're looking for the ox, we found a giant dragon. And the pearl symbolizes the dragon's power, usually inside the dragon. And he will spit it out and play with it and swallow it again. Stuff like that. That's pretty good. Yeah, Look at it. It's smiling. I realize it's smiling. He's like, ha 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 ha. You, you need fools. Ha ha ha. Right, what's going on down there? Yeah. The LED lights. Ah, there's some kind of effect. Ooh, look at that. Got some effects going on. Special effects. Look, it's a dragon up close and personal. Yeah. How do you do? Yeah, it's pretty cool. A 
go look for the ops. Yeah, let's find it. I found it. Ah, we found Jules' Zodiac. Here we go. Born in 1985. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> and the famous people who are also oxes. Barack Obama. Oh, Andy Lau, my favorite. And so very good, Jules. very good. Blessed by auspicious stars, those born in the year of the ox can look forward to a generally smooth sailing year with possible financial gains, career promotions, and a calendar filled with social activities. But you need but you need to resist the tendency to be bullheaded at home and work. A temporary win rarely leads to true fulfillment. This is a great year to pursue your dreams with an unwavering focus and a strong work ethic. Yeah. Oh, doesn't mean this YouTube channel is going to grow. Yep. Doesn't mean Sing Medical is going to grow. Yep. Yeah. And you have the blessing of the dragon behind you. Yeah. So are you happy you came all the way here? Yeah. To see these dragons? Yeah. I think throughout this video, I keep using the word majestic to describe them. I can't think of any other words. Majestic dragon. Finally, a video of us and the dragon, the two of us. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this Yay. vlog. And you guys all have a very prosperous, happy Chinese New Year. Yay! Gong Si Pa Tai. Gong Si Pa Tai. Happy Yay. Year of the Dragon. Happy New Year. Bye. Pa Tai. So didn't think I got so